वेलकम बैक दैट्स दैस जिक्स निफ्टी 17 पॉइंट्स हायर राइट नाउ मितेश ठक्कर प्रकाश काबा एंड रजत बोस नाउ जॉइन आज गुड मॉर्निंग मितेश हाउ डू अप्रोच द इंडेक्स टुडे निफ्टी एंड पर मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट द बैंक निफ्टी good morning anurag i think uh, you know while there is no sign of weakness or a trend reversal or uh, you know kind of meltdown happening my sense is that uh, that you know we are in a situation wherein uh, the index is extremely overbought yesterday we booked some profits on the uh, bank nifty i think you know uh, very clearly uh, hoping that some kind of dip will take place so for the time being i think it's a no trade zone unless until you get a dip on the indices and wait it out for that otherwise uh, hold on to whatever positions you have and trail the stop losses Okay, fair point. Well, Prakash, good morning to you. What's the trade? Is there a trade on the indices? There could be a trade. Why not? I feel so because the trend is still intact up and has not been compromised. In fact, I would say that yesterday's level that we had was eleven three forty two. It's achieved like a. It's there and it's close there on the support. Now the next target on the upside is eleven thousand four fifty, which I said yesterday is still there, valid. So I would say the trade is there, but we are looking for a dip. Where to buy is the question. If I get a dip some thirty forty points, I'll buy. A. If I if it opens where it is today, it's still okay. And if it takes out, I would say not yesterday's high. If it takes out three sixty five, eleven three sixty five, that's a buying point again. I would wait for an hour or so, and if there's no dip, if it's tra- trading sideways, perhaps there's again a possibility to buy. Or if it opens the gap and continues up, who knows where it goes? But I would say that what we are looking for is some kind of a correction. Correction to be two places: A is price-wise, or even a time-wise. I think that's needed and it's very healthy. We'll wait for it. As far as Bank Nifty is concerned, I think twenty-eight thousand seven twenty-five eight twenty. That's a very very strong support zone to work with. As long as that holds, we are feel fine. We are waiting for a correction. If it doesn't come, we just take B stock stock specific. Oh, okay, so correction if it comes about could be healthy, a healthy sign for the market. Rajat Bose also joins in. Rajat, hi, good morning. Uh, do you concur with this view that perhaps a correction is likely now, uh, or do you think that this uptrend will continue? Yeah, good morning. Uh, good morning to you all. Uh, yes, I do concur that there is a correction in the offing and. uh it is uh, difficult to take a long trade right at this juncture in fact i would suggest that unless 11383 to about 11430 uh this is a very strong uh, supply zone unless it is overcome uh i don't think it would be worth your while to actually go for a long trade in fact you can go for a long trade after a correction and not right here so i would suggest a sell and sell with a stop above 11405 keeping 11383 and 430 in mind and targets my targets would be 11280 and 11225 and similarly for bank nifty uh, the level to watch out for would be 29110 on the upside unless that is taken out bank nifty would take a pause go down at least test at uh, 28700 in actual exact level that i am tracking is 28697 so i would also sell this with a stop above 29013 and target would be 28820 and 28705 so uh, the indices are a sell at, uh, only temporarily it's for the day traders okay fair point uh- problem rajat is we might open above those stop loss levels today that is the strength of the market but anyway let's discuss individual stocks prakash good morning what's on your list i'll go with itc first looks certainly good to me i think itc can climb to levels closer to 300 but it's not stopping there in 300 it may going even higher there stop below 295 should be okay we must give few days to itc i think it's done a beautiful job there I like NBCC as well. I think good base formation gives some time and space. I think the first target that I have is 70 and is going beyond then to 75 as well. Stop below 62 should be okay. United Spirits, I think party has just started. I think is going to 600 zones as the first point. But when I look at United Spirits chart from a longer term perspective, I think it's bottomed out. We are seeing levels closer to 650 to 675 zones also as well. So I think it's a buy on dip stock. Stop below 573 purely for trading purposes. And a solitary sell on Jet Airways, not doing well. 737 Max perhaps could have an effect on it. Possible target on the downside 225. Stop about 238. It's actually starting a little bit on the back foot in terms of news as well. So Jet Airways, we'll have to wait and watch. Uh, but Mitesh, uh, one of the stocks where you have a buy is starting on the front foot in terms of news. Mine Tree. But tell us all. 
so Mainshi, I think you know yesterday also we had covered it. Uh, I think a good breakout taking place over there, getting past those 935 zones suggests some more upside momentum. I would look at targets close to 980 and recommend a buy with a stop below 932. Uh, Mahindra and Mahindra, some kind of uh, upset continuation signals are there on the charts. So buy with a stop at 677, tight one, and look at target to 705. Also buy on Torrent Pharma uh, with a stop at 1819 for targets of 1885. And I have one sell. Lens Capital was, uh, you know, kind of gave a breakdown yesterday on the intraday charts and some sell signals. So keep a stop at 177, look for targets of 163. Okay, uh, Rajat, hi. Uh, what about you? What would the stocks be on your list today? And any banks that feature there, considering they've been the big gainers this week? No, I, I could have given a buy on Yes Bank. Uh, I could have given a real estate stock like NBCC, but I'm trying to avoid some stocks that I personally hold in my portfolio. Yet, I have included one that Prakash has also talked about, United Spirits. So let me start with that. Buy United Spirits, but it's a conditional buy. Buy it only above 591. And put a stop loss below 584. 599 and 607 would be the targets. The key level of 591 is the 200 exponential moving average for United Spirits. That's why I don't want to uh, take a trade before I really cross the Rubicon. That is 591, 200 demo level. And then Mind Tree is a no brainer. I mean, when I saw the stock yesterday, that was looked at very good technical buy, but now the news is there. Yet, I would say put a stop below 941, 967, and 974 are the two targets. I have a feeling that it may not really test 981, and it would actually finish off its journey by 975. And Advanced Engine, it is another cash group stock that attracted a lot of buying and good volume. I would put a stop loss below 177.50. Targets would be 185.50 and 187. And finally, there is a cement stock that I would like to sell. ACC sell with a stop above 1555, targets 1520 and 1505. Okay. Thanks a lot for that, Rajat. You know, there's an anecdotal observation in our office that every Friday the United Spirit stock rises. Uh, it's the Friday effect. Oh, so we hope. <laughs> we appreciate that yesterday. Yesterday, see the intraday chart yesterday. I think it uh, it was Sudarshan's uh, BTST call yesterday. Okay. Uh, and and uh, there was a last minute rally. This is the last hour surge uh, yesterday. Just see the intraday chart Ooh. on United Spirits. Uh, oh, so the party started early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the weekend started a day in advance. Okay. Right, I just have one more stock, uh, or actually a couple of more stocks to ask uh, uh, Mitesh. Your thoughts on Reliance? Uh, I mean, that's also been one of the bulwarks of this rally. Uh, but the, we've been positive here and uh, I think, you know, had a good uh, rally already happening over there. The earlier highs were 13, uh, 15, 13, 20 odd zones. So maybe a pullback to those levels would give you a good buying opportunity given the fact that this rally has already seen the stock gain 150 points without any kind of pullback except yesterday which was a half a percent decline. But I think the, the stock will settle down and give, give you a good pullback. Around 13, 20, 25 would be an excellent entry point for this stock. Okay. Okay, gentlemen, I'm sure we all have a lot more stocks to ask you, but we have to take a break. We're going to come back and pursue this Reliance story. Mayuresh Joshi of Angel Broking will join in. And of course, we're going to discuss a lot more stocks with him.